There's a bit of a burning issue these days, or maybe it's more of an issue with burning. We're talking about fossil fuels, oil, coal, natural gas. These fuels are relied upon by billions, and it's a source of energy that has literally changed the world. But there's a dark cloud that hangs over the power that they provide. So what are fossil fuels anyway? Let's sift through the soot and clean up the conversation, right here on Owl Connected's General Knowledge. Fossil fuels are formed when the decomposed remains of organic matter are buried and placed under intense pressure and heat. For example, coal is dead plant matter, or peat, that is compressed into a sedimentary rock. This is a geological process that takes millions of years to complete. This process loads these materials full of hydrocarbons, which are a key component in combustion or fire. When combined with oxygen and a spark, these materials will burn, releasing heat energy, carbon dioxide, and water. Since the Industrial Revolution of the late 1800s, our societies have been consuming fossil fuels at an astronomical rate. And this has created two problems. The first is that these fuels are becoming harder to find. Because they take millions of years to be created, once a supply is gone from an area, that's it. The second is that the amount of carbon being released into our atmosphere has skyrocketed. It wasn't always this way. Fossil fuels weren't just discovered in the 19th century. Humanity's history with them actually goes back thousands of years. At least 7,000 years ago, a sticky, viscous form of oil called bitumen was used to bind stones and bricks together for walls or buildings. And around 4,000 years ago, someone in northern China discovered a black rock that burned just like wood did. That was a piece of coal. Initially, coal was not used everywhere. But in places where it was easily found, like England or China, it was seen as a good alternative to using wood for heating. But for the most part, fossil fuels were not an issue. Most power was still derived from water wheels or windmills, while transportation was dominated by sails on the water and horses on land. And even when the Industrial Revolution first began in the early to mid 1700s, it wasn't yet about fossil fuels. The spinning jenny, for example, which produced fabrics, was originally driven by hand or water power. But once inventions like the steam engine, powered by coal, and the internal combustion engine, powered by gasoline, came along, it was only a matter of time before people were eager to make use of these new sources of power. Before industrialization, human civilizations were mostly agrarian, or based around farming. Cities were relatively small and few, but suddenly, Factories making everything from clothing to tools to raw materials were popping up everywhere. They offered plenty of new jobs, and people flocked to the cities, often getting there on coal-burning, steam-powered ships and locomotives that were connecting nations like never before. The invention of electrical power really sealed the deal. Now, power plants could bring electricity directly to the home, where people could use personal versions of the many gadgets being built in factories all around the world. And those same factories could now stay open all day and night, thanks to the creation of the light bulb. All of these energy-munching innovations quickly went from being new and intriguing to everyday and indispensable. And they were all powered by one thing, fossil fuels. Which brings us to the present day. At this point, it is no secret that humanity's appetite for fossil fuels has radically changed the planet. The most telling way is the amount of greenhouse gases, particularly carbon dioxide, that are present in our atmosphere. These gases trap heat from the sun, raising the Earth's overall temperature. But the processes that are needed to extract fossil fuels, including mining and oil drilling, have polluted many habitats and ecosystems. And as some supplies of fossil fuels begin to run out, the rush to find new ones is leading to riskier and more difficult methods of extraction. So why not just stop using them? Many are calling for that to happen. This is called fossil fuel phase-out, or divestment. But there is a problem. All of that growth that fossil fuels fueled, all of those factories and cities and planes and trains and cars, they still need to get their power somehow. And then there is the fact that a lot of people still rely on these industries for their jobs. Not to mention that fossil fuel companies are very wealthy and influential. Politicians and leaders face a lot of pressure to keep them going. But the good news? 
Green technology is closer than ever to stepping in to provide both the power and the types of jobs that are needed to replace our dependency on fossil fuels. Hopefully, that's at least one burning question answered. If you'd like more Fuel for Thought, please click the button and subscribe below. That way, you'll never miss another episode of Owl Connected's General Knowledge.